everybody. It's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make some card diffusers. They're going to be adorable. So I start with a four inch circle and I'm just tracing it onto my piece of brown felt and I'm going to cut that out. Easy peasy. It's getting warm out. I, I don't know about you, but I need to have some nice smelling stuff in the car when the kids are there. All right. So then I cut my felt circle in half. So now we have two and this will make enough for two. Um, and then I just twirl it up to make a cone. Perfect. Put a little glue on the end and we have ourselves an ice cream cone. Look at how cute this is. All right. So then I have some wool beads. It's a garland that I have and I have a clothespin. I'm going to put a piece of, this is just a piece of um, cotton twine and I put it through the hole of the, um, <laughs> of the clothespin. And then I used a tiny, tiny little bead that I painted red. Um, I threaded that on and now I'm going to thread on my wool bead. Perfect. And see, and then we just put it on to as far up as you want. Um, then I have a half inch wood bead that I put on after that. And then um, I am going to glue all of the pieces, right? Because we just want them to be together. So I glue on the cherry on top and then I'm going to glue the wood bead onto our felt bead. And then we're going to, I just knotted the end and trimmed uh, the string. Um, and then we're going to put some glue into our um, little felt cone that we made. And then we're going to put everything in and glued. Look, and that's it. Are you kidding me? Look at how cool that is. All right, you get a bonus one. I'm going to show you how to do this one. Now we're going to do the same process with the clothespin, um, but I'm using cotton yarn this time. And I'm going to put the, um, so we already have it on our clothespin and I'm going to put our um, wool bead on that. And then I'm going to knot the end and then I'm going to take um, and just trim it, obviously. But then we're going to just wrap the yarn around the wool bead. Basically, we want to we want to make it look like a skein of yarn, right? So we're just going to go around and around. Um, I put some glue every once in a while just so that we make sure it's secure and it doesn't unravel on us. But, you know, anytime that you get, I don't know if you have any knitters out there, but anytime you get a skein of yarn, we put it in a ball. This is what we do, right? Well, minus the felt bead, of course. <laughs> All right, so just keep going around and around until you can no longer see that felt ball in the center. So there we go. And then at the very end, I just trimmed it um, and glued the um, the end. Now, I wasn't worried about making it look perfect because it's a ball of yarn. Then I have a couple of um, toothpicks that I trimmed the end. And now um, I put a little tiny wood bead. I put a little glue and then the wood bead on top of that. And are you kidding me? Look, we're going to do two of those. And they're like little knitting needles. And then um, I've just put an, a hole with my embroidery needle. And then I put the knitting needles in it. It looks like knitting needles. Are you kidding me? Friends, how much fun is this? And the Super fun thing about this is you put these in your car. I have just drop a couple of things of essential oils on them and you have a car diffuser. You could put them anywhere. Put them in your car, put them in your house, put them in your gym bag. I don't know. Anywhere you want to smell nice. Okay, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspired you.